Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's discuss about the significance and correlation of water, sanitation and health. Now, water, sanitation and hygiene can be combined together to form a term, to form an acronym that is WASH. All three factors over here are extremely crucial to human health and well-being. It has been seen that areas or regions or countries which have poor wash facilities, that is poor water sources, poor sanitation, poor hygiene. In such regions, the nutritional status of children is very much affected. It leads to malnutrition, which leads to wasting, stunting, etc. It has also been seen that the drinking or the use of unsafe water, not only for drinking, even if, it, if the unsafe water is used in irrigation or for bath or for any other kind of household purposes, that can lead to diseases such as diarrhea and then from the excreta, the microorganisms can spread or contaminate into the groundwater or into the surface water. And even if it is not microorganisms, even if there is chemical contamination like the presence of arsenic or fluoride or nitrate, that also can cause a lot of detrimental health effects. So these are the problems of not having good wash facilities. One is the nutritional status of children is affected and the, there is a spread of diseases which can occur due to the microbial contamination or even due to the chemical contamination. Now the way out of this or the solution to this is to have regulated pipe water and connections to sewers with the wastewater treatment plants. That is the only way we can in, improve the health. And why are we focusing so much on these three factors or, you know, the wash facilities? Because improving wash facilities in a region will definitely help us to strengthen the sustainable development goals as well. Now, sustainable development goals, I have already discussed in a previous video. These sustainable development goals were 17 goals that were taken up in the UN General Assembly. They were adopted in September 2015. And these goals are for the year 2030. So it has been decided that the agenda for sustainable development, which is uh, in to be uh, successfully completed in 2030, should be able to target these 17 areas. Now, the main principle of these 17 goals is to ensure that no one is left behind. So there is a call for action to end poverty, to end inequality, to protect the planet, to ensure that people enjoy health, they enjoy justice, they enjoy prosperity. So all together is what is considered as the sustainable development goals. Now, with respect to water, if we see the goal number six, the clean water and sanitation is definitely a prerequisite and it is the it is one of the uh, you know key targets for 2030 when we see with respect to india there has been rapid progress in uh, you know the sustainable development goals in achieving these goals and in ending open defecation because open defecation is directly related to the sanitation and hygiene of any region it significantly impacts the wash it has there have been a lot of studies which say that areas which have a lot of open defecation show stunting amongst children so Rapid progress has been made in India, no doubt, due to the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan or the Swachh Bharat mission. We are now in the phase two of implementation. And based on this mission or according to this mission, we have brought in a lot of changes in the sanitation facilities. Many, many people now have access to sanitation facilities, to toilets, but the journey is still to be completed. We still have a long way to go ahead. If you can see over here, this is a state-wise data that shows you how some of the states are still lagging in the sanitation facilities. There are a few states which have which are almost close to the target, but there, uh, there is still a lot more work that needs to be done. Now, when we look at the role of hotels, hotels have a vital role in reaching the sustainable development goal number six, that is clean water facilities. Hotels have to ensure access to water and sanitation for all. When I say all, it means their customers, their patrons, their guests, their staff, all the people who are in and around that area, in and around that region where the hospitality is uh, being maintained, that is the hotel is there, they have to ensure the access to clean water and sanitary facilities for all. So in the hotel industry, sustainable access to water is central it is a an important thing it is key to everyday operations there are a lot of bathrooms there are swimming pools which need continuous supply of clean water 
and this is also linked to the productivity of the hotel because if the staff or their families or the suppliers or the local community or even the customers are affected by any kind of waterborne illness or water scarcity or poor sanitation or lack of hygiene that will definitely disrupt the hotel's activities or the day to day work so productivity is definitely linked to the wash facilities in every hotel now what are the measures that can be taken by the hospitality sector a simple measure is to have a water risk assessment and plan the action this has to be done based on the quality of water that they receive the quantity of water they, that they receive and the country of operation where they are based on how much water is available in that regional area they have to prepare a water risk assessment and plan of action secondly a lot of measures for sustainable water usage need to be implemented for example educating the guests to reuse the towels that uh, you know they have in their rooms instead of replacing them daily will definitely reduce the amount of water that is being used in laundry or having water ha harvesting facilities within the hotel or treatment and reuse of water within the hotel all of these are measures for sustainable water usage that can be implemented in the hospitality sector so this was a short video to tell you how important water sanitation and health are when we see the achieving of the sustainable development goals hope this was useful to all of you see you in the next one as well bye